Hello everyone, happy Tuesday, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to be using a brand new stamp set from Waffle Flower. I've never ever bought one of their stamp sets before, but I'm really loving it. And I wanted to show you for Try It Out Tuesday that the stamp sets that you have, you could do many things with them. This stamp set's called Hibiscus, but it has a little birdie in it and a little flourish, a tree flourish, and I thought it'd be fun to make a card, um, not using the Hibiscus flowers, but using the little birdie in it with the with the little greenery. So we're going to jump in and get started with our stamping. I am going to take a piece of white cardstock and I'm going to use Memento Tuxedo Black ink and I'm going to stamp this little tree limb twice. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab that little cute little birdie. I think he's a little toucan. And um, I'm going to stamp him. And he is so cute. And so I'm going to jump in and start coloring. And I sped up the coloring a lot, 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 because I didn't want to, um, well, of course, sometimes um, my coloring skills are my own. I'm by no means an expert at it. So um, I just thought I would speed it up for you guys. But it was pretty easy. I just used three different colors of green um, using my alcohol markers and then um, I just kind of blended them all together. Um, the alcohol markers I use are, um, I got on Amazon, they're cheap cheap set and um, so far they work out really good for me. So they're called B and Yo and I'll include a link um, in the description area um, to the name and where you can find them. Okay now that I have my coloring done in the stamp set it also comes with um, this little beak like layering part so I took some orange ink and I stamped the beak kind of layering the colors and then you can also layer the little birdie leaf so I took a yellow and I stamped that over um, the alcohol markers just to give it a variation in color I went ahead and die cut those out and um, we're gonna work on our card panel. I have a 6x6 six six paper pad from Pink Paisley. It's called Hello Sunshine and it's from my stash old paper pad. But I like the little clouds that it had in the background so um, I thought I'd use a few papers from this uh, pad here. I already cut them out using my rectangle dies and here you can kind of see the sizes. And then I'm going to grab my oval die and I'm going to cut out um, that yellow pattern paper there and then also a piece of that cloud pattern paper. I'm just going to die cut them out both together and I had no problems. I like saving time so I stack them and then run them through my big shot. <laughs> so once I have that done I have a little frame here and then I have that little cloud background that I'm going to put right in the center there. I'm going to go ahead and, and get my my tape runner and I'm going to adhere that to that pattern paper panel right behind it. And then using my frame as a guide, I'm going to just pop it in, kind of like a puzzle. Lovely. Okay, take that off there, and then I'm going to go ahead and adhere that directly to my card base. I'm using um, a standard size card, as always. It's five and a half by four and a quarter. And then here you can see that pattern paper is just maybe like a quarter inch shy of the standard size card there. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and, um, well, my I have clouds and the cloud dies that I have have a straight line border and so I thought it'd be neat um, to use some cloud dies for this card. So I'm going to um, die cut out three, three of the cloud pattern and then three of white cardstock. So I have six clouds total. And if you don't have that straight edge die for the clouds, you can just take one of your regular dies and just trim off the, the end to make it a straight edge cloud. I'm going to go ahead and, um, using my Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive, which is replacing actually my Tombow Mono Multi Glue, because I really like this. I'm going to adhere that to that cloud background there. And I'm going to go ahead and pop that up and stick it down on my card base. I just used some foam tape and then I'm taking that second um, 
kind of greenery that we I colored in and I want to pop that up with some foam tape and I'm just going to layer layer that on top of that other one at a little bit of an angle and I'm just using some dim dimensional adhesive here remove the backing and we're going to since we did pop up that pattern paper, the yellow pattern paper um, with foam tape, I'm doubling up on the foam, my dimensional adhesives here, just so it pops up. And I need one more there. And so far I'm thinking this look is looking so cute. Okay, I'm going to grab my little bird and he's a little toucan and you know what? At, when I was thinking about the des the design that I was going to use for this card, I thought it would be cute um, to have the sentiment kind of repeat itself. Um, thinking, you know, a parrot repeats itself. But then I realized that this is not a parrot. This is like a little toucan. But it, I went ahead with it, and I thought it, it turned out cute. So ho hopefully the recipient won't realize that it's a toucan and not a parrot. But... I went ahead and used my anti-static powder tool there and I'm I'm taking some Versamark ink and I'm going to stamp the sentiment that says perfect three times using my Versamark and I'm kind of shifting the sentiment to the left and to the right of the clouds because I'm going to place them kind of randomly on, on my front panel here. Now I'm going to go ahead and heat emboss that and I'm using some Nuvo. And this is silver, the same, classic silver embossing powder. And I love this stuff, oh my goodness. Because um, when it melts, it melts kind of puffy. So I love the way that turned out. Now for the first part of the sentiment, it says, what makes you different makes you. And so I just used some Versafine. Originally I had used the silver embossing powder, but it didn't stand out enough. So I just used some Versafine and stamped that part of the sentiment on a piece of white cardstock. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and take that uh, Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive and I'm going to uh, layer my clouds and I'm putting the cloud pattern paper behind it and I'm kind of shifting it a little bit so it kind of peeks out behind it. So I just don't have white clouds, I have a little bit of color on there. And I'm doing that to all three. And I just think that looks so per well, so pretty. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna fishtail the end of my sentiment here, kind of placing it where I want it to go. The best thing um, about the stamp set is you would never know it was the stamp set was called hibiscus. Um, so I'm kind of making a a fun little card not using the flowers but using the other elements that are in the stamp set so I encourage you to try that out. I'm popping up my um, the first part of my sentiment with some dimensional adhesive here but I'm I decided I'm not going to press it down yet because I'm still kind of figuring out the placement. I'm going to trim down the cloud here and place it directly on the bottom of my card and I'm going to pop that up I'm doubling up on my adhesive my foam adhesive here. That way it, it pops up a little higher than the panel. And then I'm trying to figure out placement for the second cloud. And I think right there looks great. So I'm going to pop that up as well. I think this card turned out so adorable. I love little peekaboo windows on cards. I just think it's sweet. <laughs> I hope you all had a wonderful Mother's Day weekend. Boy, I know um, I had a craft day all to myself. That's what I asked for. And I was, well, that and more time. It was so funny. My husband brought me some fresh time and wrapped it up and said, here, now you have some, some more time. <laughs> so I ended up making a roast with it. But anyway, <laughs> I'm just going to, I found placement for my first part of the sentiment and so I just gonna place that on the card there and then I press down and then we're gonna place our last little cloud on our little scene kind of figuring out as we go 
I'm going to trim it off just a little bit more and I'm going to pop that up as well. I'm going to double up on the the side here and I'll just put one um, one, what do you, the uh, dimensional adhesive on the other side there. Okay, and then that's our card so far, but we need bells and whistles, of course. So, I think that looks so pretty, and I love that silver embossing powder, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm taking some Wink of Stella, and I'm going to go over the, our little birdie, our little toucan. And then I'm just doing a little dab on the leaves. I think it looks so sweet. And then for the last finishing touch, I've been doing this a lot lately and I love it. I'm taking some, um, this is Simply White Crystal Drops by Nuvo. And I'm adding a dot of that and then I'm taking um, some black Nuvo Drops and, and just making my own little eyeball and I love that effect. Well, that's it guys. That's my Try It Out Tuesday card. I thank you so much for joining me. If you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. And <clears throat> if you're new um, and like to see more, please hit that subscribe button. Have a wonderful day, guys. Thanks so much for joining me again. Bye-bye.